When working in Illustrator, you'll find that artwork like a logo or this bird may be composed of smaller objects, and you may need to keep or move those objects together. To do this, you can group objects. Let's look at how to group objects together first, and then how to edit the parts of a group easily. If you'd like to follow along, I suggest you open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. So that you can see all the content in the file, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. With the selection tool selected in the Tools panel on the left, click to select this wing. Choose View, zoom in a few times to zoom into it. Drag the wing away from the rest of the bird and notice that you just moved that one object. That's because this bird is made up of a series of smaller independent shapes. Drag the wing back into position. So that the bird shapes stay together, you can group all the objects. Grouping artwork can help keep content organized, make it easier to select something like a logo made of smaller objects and a lot more. Drag across the bird shapes to select them all. Then click the Group button in the Properties panel on the right to create a group. You can also choose Object Group. You can group all sorts of content together, even group content within another group. Click away from the bird in a blank area to deselect it, then click to select that wing again. Notice that all the shapes that make up the bird are selected. Also notice the word group at the top of the properties panel on the right telling you it's a group of objects. When you select content, this is a great place to see what that content is. Press the shift key and drag a corner of the group to scale the bird and make it smaller. When you're finished, release the mouse and then the shift key. Pressing the shift key while you drag maintains the proportions of the artwork so you don't distort it. Grouped objects can be moved or transformed as a whole without affecting the individual objects separately. So you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Drag the bird down here to put it in place. Something else you want to do is to edit content within a group. You can either ungroup that content to access the individual objects, or simply isolate the group. Drag across the sailboat shapes down here and click the Group button in the Properties panel on the right to group them together. Now the orange sail on the right needs to be moved down, but if you click away from the group, then click on that sail, the whole group is selected. To select one object in a group, double-click the larger orange sail. The rest of the artwork is dimmed, meaning you can't select or edit it, and a bar appears at the top of the document window. But you can now edit the individual shapes in this group. This is called isolation mode. Drag the sail shape down to align it with the smaller sail. Then press Escape to exit isolation mode and click in a blank area to deselect the sail. Then click back on the sail so you select the entire group and drag the sailboat group up into the water above. The sailboat appears behind this wave shape because that wave shape was created after the sailboat so it's on top of it. Being able to group content can save a lot of time when organizing your artwork, making it easier to select, move, and transform content like a logo for instance. Now that you have an understanding of grouping, you can organize your artwork how you see fit. Save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As, and make sure to rename it so you don't overwrite the original practice file.